Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen with our daily finance recap. To start off last Friday, we saw all major indices uh, on bullish trajectory. Now with new week coming, let's take a look at how the markets are shaping up this Monday. In pre-market trading, US futures remain steady after Friday significant rally. Investors are now eagerly awaiting new economic data, including the ISM service PMI. We are also seeing impact from Saudi Arabia, recent commitment to cut oil supply, which is driving oil prices up. So uh, Brent crude oil is 2% up and Brent reached $78 per barrel today. And in response, shares of Chevron and ExxonMobil are 2.5% on the rise on the pre-market trading. Uh, on the other note, Apple shares are looking green today. So let's take at Apple, half percent up on pre-market trading, uh, mainly due to worldwide developer conference kicking off and rumors of new mixed reality headsets are steering the pod. However, not shares are flourishing. For example, Estee Lauder also saw today a decrease of about 1% following Oppenheimer's downgrade of the stocks and turning our attention across the pound. The yield on UK 10-year yield has risen above 4.2% and getting closer to 7-month high. Anticipation is building as investors expect the Bank of England to rise interest rate to 4%. 75% on June 22nd, peaking at 5.5% by the end of the year. And uh, UK FTSE 100 is on the rise today, 0.3%. Uh, this is uh, due to ongoing uh, inflation concern, which have been heightened by Saudi Arabia significant oil production cut, so we might see 5.5% uh, interest rate in England by end of the year. And a similar rebound has been uh, observed in the bond yield of Italy and France, fueled by the rally in crude oil prices and the ensuring worse about persistently high inflation and potential tighter monetary policy by major central uh, banks. So uh, German today uh, is flat with this respect to stock and uh, index market. The story is no different in Germany. Their 10-year government bonds yields in on the rise following the same inflation concern triggered by surge in oil prices due to Saudi uh, cuts in production and looking for Euro top 50 uh, companies uh, a bit lower today by 0.2%. If we check uh, other market, Italy is also down uh, by 0.1%, so not much, but still uh, a bit falling. And speaking of oil brand crude futures jumped as much as 3.4% on the uh, peak today. So yeah, now it's just 2% uh, up and uh, WTA crude futures uh, are also were much higher today. So let's look at WTA and yeah, currently 2% uh, up as well. This is in response to Saudi Arabia announcement of further reducing output by another 1 million barrel per day starting in July in an effort to stabilize the market. However, demand worries, especially from China and the potential for further interest rate hikes from US Federal Reserve are putting a damper on uh, sentiment. Lastly, 
let's talk about the Eurozone German service PMI for May has been revised lower to 57.2, pointing to the strongest growth in the sector since last uh, April. Meanwhile, producer price inflation in Euro area fell to a more than two year low primary driven by significant drop in energy uh, price, but still remain at a quite high level. And, and yes, uh, in Asia, Hong Kong is uh, at fall and today biggest fall uh, was seen uh, in China market, mainly due to growth concern. Uh, China is falling by 1% and Russell uh, 2000, so small cap stocks are falling today by 0.6%. France also minus 0.3 and Hong Kong minus 0.4. So apart from energy sector, uh, we have a mixed picture for today and upcoming data will uh, show more uh, details and to also to sum up the PMI. Uh, PMI was uh, released today for Spain, Italy, France, German, Euro area and also uh, United Kingdom. And we can see that uh, actual for Spain 56.7, a bit lower than estimates. Italy 54 with estimates of 57, so uh, significant lower. And with uh, France 52.5 with estimates also higher, so 52.8 on the estimates, so actual were lower. Uh, German, as mentioned before, 57.2, so lower than estimates as well. And in Euro area, 55.1, lower than 55.9 estimates at, and also lower than 56.2 previous month. And in UK, 55.2, uh, so just a bit higher than estimates of 55.1, but still dropping from previous month of 55.9. So this is quick summary of uh, PMI data that were released today. And that concludes our daily financial uh, recap. As always, the financial world never sleeps and uh, we are here to keep you updated don't forget to subscribe uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button uh, so you never miss uh, on any updates and see you tomorrow